Hey folks, Mike Naso here with this 11 p.m. update on the final night of August, August 31st. It's been one heck of an August for the Atlantic Basin. We've had six tropical storms, and those were Emily, Franklin, Gert, Harold, Idalia, and Jose. And of those six tropical storms, two, Franklin and Idalia, became hurricanes, and they both became major hurricanes, both Category 4s. Idalia, you could barely tell where it is. It's a post-tropical cyclone, but it blew through Florida, Georgia, and off the southeast coast, bringing a lot of destruction. Uh, storm surge, Horseshoe Beach, Cedar Key. It was a very dangerous Category 3, a major hurricane that the Big Bend area of Florida will not soon forget. But Idalia now goes into the hurricane record books, and we look out there to see what else is going on. We have Franklin, northeast of uh, Bermuda. We have what's left of Gert. Remember Gert? Still trying to come back. And we have Jose out here, which is strengthening a bit. And then we have a wave off Africa, an invest area that's looking more and more likely to become a tropical depression or a storm. But that might head out, and we've got even more things to talk about after that. Now, what's left of Idalia is sitting here between the Abaco Islands and Bermuda, and it is forecast to come very close to Bermuda by the end of the weekend as a tropical storm. So it could come back and regenerate into a tropical storm and loop around here. So in Bermuda, you're under a tropical storm watch, and areas of the Canadian Maritimes need to watch it very carefully to say nothing of the high swells we'll see on the eastern seaboard. But it looks like the tropical storm winds are no longer impacting areas of North Carolina, so that's great news for them. Looking at the satellite again, there's nothing left. The convection has pretty much disappeared. There's nothing really discernible of a tropical cyclone, hence it is now a post-tropical cyclone, but still one heck of a major hurricane impact for areas there of Florida. Hurricane Franklin, as of 11 p.m., is at 36.8 north, 58.6 west. Winds of 85 is still a Category 1 hurricane moving east-northeast at 15, and it should pull on out and by the weekend and in the early part of the week be out in the North Atlantic, not going to deal with it anymore. There's the satellite. It is getting sheared. It is not looking good at all. Look at this wind shear just hammering it and flattening it out on its western side. It looks horrible. And it probably won't be a uh, tropical cyclone for very long. In fact, it almost looks like the center here is becoming exposed. So any hurricane force winds are probably within these thunderstorms here. Jose, Tropical Storm Jose, is at 32.7 north, 52.4 west. Winds up to 60 miles per hour. It is extremely tiny, but the uh, microwave imagery showed signs of sort of a mid-level eye feature. So I don't think it'll be a hurricane. But it's uh, closer than we thought. It's moving north at 13. It will be swallowed by the outflow of Hurricane Franklin. Here's the satellite. Notice right in here is a very tiny little circulation, but it is strengthening. 60 mile an hour winds right in this little area here. And then this is what's left of Gert trying to come back. So we've got Franklin. We've got what's left of Gert. We got Jose. It's busy. It is busy. The National Hurricane Center notes that Jose is tiny and the cloud tops only extend 50 to 60 miles across. So a very, very tiny storm. But uh, as the Hurricane Center uh, puts in a very funny pun, there is no way, Jose, <laughs> no way, Jose, get it? Uh, there is no way Jose will escape the outflow from Hurricane Franklin and it should dissipate by September 12th. The wind shear, here's a perfect example. The wind shear blowing into Franklin and what's left of Gert, soon to be Jose uh, in on the action. Nothing really left of Idalia. In contrast, we have very favorable uh, wind shear here in the uh, Caribbean and the uh, areas of the mean development region, the MDR, in the central Atlantic there. And so we're going to watch this area. We have our invest area right here. This is looking like it could become a uh, tropical depression or a storm and then move on out. But these waves behind it, this one looked much better yesterday, but it's still there and it will exit. And there's some indication that we could have a system moving to the west. Now, whether or not it would turn out to sea or continue closer to land is far too early. But some of these long-range ensemble models by September 14th or so show a major hurricane somewhere in the western Atlantic basin. And if we look at the European ensembles, look at that, all right here. 
that is not good news because if they don't turn, they turn back west towards land. So this is something to watch. That's the European. The GFS, some of them taking it into the Caribbean. So we're going to watch not this system off Africa, but the wave leaving Africa. And we'll see if anything comes of that. By the way, the name list, we're going through it. We've had Arlene, Brett, Cindy, Don, Emily, Franklin, Gert, Harold, Idalia probably will be retired. And now we have Jose. So the next two names are Katya and Lee. And right now it looks like uh, the system off Africa could become Katya, but remain out at sea. So the one we'd be watching after that that could be a little more dangerous would be named Lee. But who knows? All bets are off. It could be Katya, it could be Margo, Nigel. We still have a lot of hurricane season 2023 to go. I wanted to note in the Western Pacific we have a typhoon, and uh, Seola's the name, I believe, and it's moving in the general direction of Hong Kong. Now, winds are 120 knots, that's 140 miles per hour, waves over 45 feet. However, it should be weakening, so by the time it gets near Hong Kong, it should be down to a Category 1, 2 storm, but still, 90 to 115 miles per hour, 80 to 100 knots, that's very serious. So if you're in Hong Kong, be on alert, taking a look at the satellite. That is a very impressive-looking tropical cyclone moving very slowly and ominously straight towards the Hong Kong region. So keep an eye on that there. Again, the Atlantic Tropics very active with a devastating Category 3 major hurricane impact in Florida's Big Bend, now off the eastern seaboard, post-tropical. Franklin headed out, was left of Gert headed out, Jose headed out. This system that could become a storm probably headed out. So we're going to watch all of this move on out, and then we're going to wait and see if that system leaving Africa becomes something that we'll have to deal with. I'm Mike Nasal with the latest on the tropics. I'll talk to you next time.